All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the next episode of AWT. Today, we're going to talk about what happened on Turd Island. Dan Ran failed to get into the military. Also, Huggy won? Find out this episode of AWT. Yo, thank you, Sliggins, so much for the intro. We've had so much stuff go on today after that <laughs> Turd Island, bro. Yeah. Fresh out. It's true. Dude, we're backstabbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh... We're just content. We're too content brained, you know. <laughs> you know all the things, you know. I love backstabbing people. I barely interact with. Totally backstabbing. I feel bad I, for I, Ant. I feel bad because it's kind of taking a toll on him a little bit. But you know what? Ant's the homie, so. Yeah, he's okay. He'll be all right. It'll be all right. Trust. No. Oh, Tr the process. Bro. Like, to be, to be honest, bro. Like, he's they're only really mad at me, Joe, and <laughs> and, 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 and Flatley. I mean, let's just be real here. Oh, we gotta uh, re-record that episode with Bunny. By the way, guys, disclaimer. Uh, probably, if I didn't put a post out already, it will be out after we record this. Um, the episode with Bunny, we're not. We've decided collectively to not air it out. Um, but we will have a new one coming. New one in the future. But anyways, so we woke up today. Well, we were already up. We were playing X Defiance and shit because we're addicted to that game. AWT and, uh, team coming. AWT team. They're not ready, bro. They're not ready. They're not, they're Comp, not ready. not ready. AWT on top. We're the new phase. But um, we get hit with the we're backstabbers. You know what I heard? I'm not going to air out who told me this. But when I was making clips of last night's stream, was what I was doing today, which is why I think they started spreading out and getting mad, it was a thumbnail. And I think they were also <laughs> faced with the neurotic, the neuro I don't even know how to say that word, the, the stupid Neuroticism? Neuroticism, there we go. And just the absolute L that Danis took. And he is now drug, or dragged Doug into this. Well, I mean, Doug kind of self-inserted himself. I like Doug. I mean, it's true. Doug. Doug's not emotionally all there in the head. You know what I mean? So I try not to go after him. I've been ignoring him a little bit, right? But he's just like, I go in that VC and Doug's just like spurging on him. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He didn't have to say anything. Dan threw him under the bus, though, because Dan said, oh, Huggy's talking to me. Oh, man. Guys. Ooh. Yes, guys. If you're if you're gearing up to debate somebody online, especially on a live show, don't agree with everything up until the last point and run away. Especially to me, I'm gonna find you, bro. Yeah, and you're in yeah, Train's nah. VC. You're in Train's Discord. I love Train. Yeah. Train is cool. Train has got some W's on me. I'm not gonna cap. He's got he's he's burned me a couple of times, right? I like Triton. I respect Triton. Triton is a real G. It's in his rules. He said it multiple times. All of his his VCs are open. This isn't like now recording. This isn't or like here. a private GC or like the pit, right? We're not gonna record calls. If you're if it's an open VC though, you best believe I'm coming in. You guys sell, set yourself up for that. And you guys, yeah. yeah. And yeah, um, when it comes to debate. When it comes to debates, also come very prepared. Very prepared. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I learned that the hard way. Dude, the other I've thing, <laughs> bro, the other thing, Dan was in the live stream. So he should have known when I joined that VC, even if they didn't know that rule, they should have known that I was still live. Well, you had just started, too. They were, they were it, fucking it, watching it in that Discord, was, bro. Yeah. But, uh, oh, actually, Bad Dog confirmed that. They yeah, Bad Dog said they, they were. They, uh, it was they were def they both were definitely watching it though for a fact, but what I did want to say as well is I wish we gotten were streaming beforehand, where we had, we literally had Dan call in while we were playing X Defiant and loop for like five, like literally loop like eight to seven times on the same thing explain ourselves multiple times and then he continues to loop on to Turd Island like I just wish I had that. Because if we streamed that during that time... Shocker, we didn't it, record the call. Fuck. Oh, shocker, we didn't record the call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, like, But I, if I was streaming, it, it probably would have been on stream yesterday if I was streaming, dude. That would have been so fire. It would have been so funny. Oh, my God, bro. The big thing I don't understand is why Dan went at us. So the initial... 
the initial interaction was him and Huggy were supposed to go on, and then Huggy said, I'm not coming on Turd Island. So then he started going at Slug, and he started in the Discord, and he wrote this... It was, what, 15 minutes of typing for a dude, manifesto? Dude, we were yeah, waiting forever. Dude, it was so good. It, it, actually, no, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Maybe he's a slow typer. His IQ just doesn't allow him to type many words that fast. <laughs> but yeah. when, when that happened, dude... And we copied, yeah, no, can, Joe, you know what, Joe, you could do it, you, you did it. Yeah, so after like 15 minutes of him typing and us spamming the Discord with GIFs of gay people and stuff, because that was funny, um, <laughs> what the fuck? We, get this, we get this manifesto, I read it on Turd Island, I'm not going to read it here, but the, the manifesto is a long paragraph that is about how evil Slug is. So we are all laughing because it took 15 minutes to type a single paragraph, so we start copying and pasting. And Dan immediately gets mad at us for copying and pasting and saying that we're siding with Slug and we're friends with him and we're buddy-buddy with him when we shouldn't be. So we all think he, like, Dan's retarded. We're saying nobody ever, none of us ever claimed to be friends with Slug or friends with anybody. Like, you're just assuming. I'm not friends with Slug. Yeah, none of us exactly. ever said we were. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But Dan's logic is because a few of us have had him on streams that we're friends with him. Well, by that logic, Burns been on Slug stream, so they're friends. I've had Slug on two of my streams, so I guess we're friends. Uh, Cathonic Flatly, you guys have had him on your streams, so y'all must be friends. Um, you know, Augie had Keppels on his stream, so I guess Augie is friends with Keppels now. Yeah, Wings of Redemption and Boogie are must be best friends since they're both on Lolcow. Yep. It, it doesn't I make any sense. No, it makes zero sense because then, like, there's, but, we've never sat there and we're like, had it like slug in our private calls or does slug know anything about what we're doing behind the scenes? No, slug knows none of that shit. It never will. Like, this, this fucking like, um, made up world that Doug and Dan have made up in their heads that we're just best friends with slug is ridiculous. Yeah. They made this shit up and then literally attacked us in this private call. Don, Dan did attack us in that private call. Like, yes. He, he, he literally straight came for came at us. Like, we pulled him in because he was, like, typing in, in, in uh, the Wild West in the pit and saying that, like, you know, that we can keep... What, what was the other coffee pasta that we had? Uh, um, it was basically around this... Yeah. It was basically on the lines that um, we didn't even read his message and that when uh, Slug fucks up and you don't defend him, it's going to be like the Ember, Ember shit all over again. Here, here like, it is. Yeah, all right. I already, okay. You going to read it out? Oh, no, sorry. For on my end, the audio was like cutting out real, cool, oh, real bad. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to interrupt anybody if I did. No, you're, you're fine. Uh, so Dan's second copy pasta that we made a copy pasta was y'all can think what i'm saying is funny or you can just copy slash paste it without reading but i sure all of you this when slug fucks up and you don't defend them it's gonna be that ember silly shit all over again and, and so, we, just, so we copied that too yes but it's just fucking hilarious because like bro it, it, so we after he says this, we're all in the video, like, what the fuck is he talking about? And so we're like, hey, Dan, like, join, uh, join one of the, uh, the fucking VCs. We'll pull you into our, our private VC. We pull him in, and then we're like, okay, well, what's your deal? And then we let him talk and tell us his deal and basically that what we just told you. Like, apparently we're getting too close to Slug. And um, I, started, I basically start going off because I'm like, what are you talking about, Dan? Like... What are you skitching about? Like, I, I told, like, I tell him, like, we're not close to Slug. We know we're not, we keep it at arm's length, yada, yada, yada. And then he, like, goes on to try to say that we're friends with him. I press him on that. And then every time I press him on it, he's like, that's not what I'm trying to say. But then continues to say that we're friends with Slug. And I'm like, what the fuck are you on about, bro? I was like, you're looping five to eight times, saying the same thing over and over again. I don't want to hear this. You sound retarded, bro. Like, I, I'm not going to listen to someone loop on the same point and not even listen to what I'm saying to you. Like, what my explanation <laughs> for what you're, like, looping on. Like, I'm not going to listen to that shit. I like his yeah. first copy pasta. You guys, you guys remember his first copy pasta? Yes. I got it pulled Mad up right here. 
Oh ready? yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I, I be? Ready. You clown vulture. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> He goes, he said, the very first one, January 7th, 2023. This was trending wide in all of small commentary. And this is my first copy pasta I joined in on, too, because I was like, why is everyone copy pasting this guy? Fuck this guy. Mm -hmm. He sounds weird. So it, it goes like this. <clears throat> I'm leaving the commentary community. They obviously don't want me there, so I won't bother even trying anything there. You might catch me lurking in the shadows, but I probably won't say shit. It's most likely my fault, so I'm doing this to respect them as best I can. And I said, <laughs> I said, bro, who the fuck are you? Why are you so vague? <laughs> <laughs> my first interaction with the A240P. Holy fuck, bro. Dude, I just can't I, believe is this so stupid. Yeah. It, I just don't understand. I've never met somebody that is so concerned for our clout and just is worried that slug is gonna take our clout away <laughs> Dude, I, I'm it's so like, dead bro we clout. don't have <laughs> we don't have clout you don't either so stop dude my ego is inflated right now bro yeah even today he was like i i took a peek at his twitter account and he's like leah says i was concerned trolling i was actually concerned and it's like dude i'm a like I, we're grown adults. I'm 34 years old. I don't need a loser, jobless or jobless loser that lives with his mom worrying about me. That's on the other side of the internet. I can handle my own controversies. If Slug gives us a controversy, I'm sure we'll make it. We'll make content out of it or whatever. Uh, yeah. Not only that. Sure. Not only that. But, I went from I'm concerned about you guys. Come on to. Why aren't you fucking listening to me, you stupid brain dead losers? All you guys care about is how your content brained. Oh, yeah. well, what the fuck happened, bro? It went from zero to ten so quick. Dude, I gotta future flatly, please edit that peek out. And then on top of it, to. he like Dan yesterday was like morally grandstanding over the use of slurs. And it's like, bro, you say the N-word all the time. Dude, I know. What are you talking about? <laughs> He said it in the fucking the GC today, bro. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> it's like you're like, such a hypocrite. Not even twenty four. <laughs> hasn't even been twenty four hours. He morally grandstand no. over slurs. You slurs, bro. Come on, bro. Rules oh, for thee, yeah. but not for me. You know what I'm saying, bro? Exactly. Dan plays dirty. Like I don't he, think Dan's like, all there. I don't he's not all there, but because that's can why tell, him like, and Doug get obvious. along very well. You know what I mean? Like. I, I love Bastion, Doug, but, like, Doug's not all there, you know? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what were you going to say, uh, Leia? Like, I, I don't know. You can tell, like, he's a der -der -der. Like, you can tell he's <laughs> stupid, right? I haven't heard that in but years. He <laughs> plays he plays dumb. And he plays dirty. Like, because uh, I was re-listening to the conversation that Flatley had with Doug. And, like... The whole entire time, Dan knew Flatly was live streaming. And then when Doug all of a sudden was like, Flatly, you're live streaming in somebody else's server. Uh, Dan was like, oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, why are you doing that? It's like, fuck off, Dan. They really? chose the worst you know server Flatley. to say that in, by the way. They're, yeah. You guys are stupid. You're stupid, bro. You act like you act like I don't like Triton or know who Triton is, bro. I fucking love that little faggot, bro. I love Triton, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker is a troll. That motherfucker has handed me L's on L's when I fought with him over the dumbest situations, bro. And you know what this motherfucker does? Never once, never once has he ever said, no, you can't record in here. If you get into a beef with somebody, have it here or turn yeah. island. In fact, he's invited it, bro. He loves that yeah. shit. That's why he deserves to be on Wall. That's why I think he's perfect for Wall Smashers. Badwick did a hell of a casting job getting Triton on Turd Island, bro. And not only that, Triton got another W last night, right? Where they're like, they're yeah. recording in your Discord. And he goes, yeah, he's allowed to. It <laughs> 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 fucking destroyed them, bro. <laughs> Trey Trey is so 50 -50. Again, bro. He's so 50 50. He either has the most retarded take you could possibly have on a situation, or he's Dude. the most based person in based the conversation. There's the no world. in between. 
There's yeah. no in between with him. There's no fence sitting with Triton. I love it. He's either like Triton, this is stupid as fuck. Like the maggot situation, right? I was I was beefing with Maggot on Twitter, and this motherfucker goes, Well, I don't think that's right. And Maggot goes, Yeah, so and so Triton's cool. And I'm like, damn, Triton just won. He just got pussy and won the argument, bro. It's over. It's over, bro. <laughs> it's over. I just got cucked by Triton. D Max got cucked by Triton, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Triton's cucking the world. It's the shirtless pictures. Cuck the world ten, bro. I think they so, really waited to get mad though. You think so? Yeah. Okay, Leia, I'm gonna fill you in on something. I'm not I don't want to expose who DM'd me this. They know who they are. They're a very good friend of the show. Very based, very based person. Yeah. They said they didn't get mad until I posted the thumbnail of the video. Well, that's dumb. Like, it triggered them. Okay, so is Doug not like, are we never allowed to make content on Doug? Like, is that just any, is no, that he just never about allowed? The video. He was mad about the thumbnail. The thumbnail is what set like, him like, off. Yeah. Couples, like, couples. The th yeah. Oh my god. The thumbnail the, the crying dragon. set him off. The crying thumbnail, dragon guys. and you laughing. It's a, it's literally just a thumbnail. Why? Why are people so worked up over thumbnails? I just don't get it. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they thought was going to happen. It, it was a show. It's a big defining moment of the show. People were already talking about it this morning anyways. Why wouldn't I post clips about the show of what people are talking about? It's members only. Yeah. Obviously, people are going to want to see the full thing, so I send them the clip. Yeah. It's it's marketing uh, 101. You guys were a part of it. Yeah, Pizzle was like even asking for it yesterday. Oh, yeah. I think I think they had heard that like Doug was like spurging and they wanted to see what Doug was freaking out about. And uh, you know what? You know what? I don't blame Doug. I'm going to say this live on air. I don't blame I blame Dan 240P. Yeah. He hid behind Dan Doug. Blame. Dan, you hid behind Doug and you made Doug yeah. look like an idiot by doing so. Because Doug yep. will go to bat for anyone who he thinks is his friend. And that's yep. exactly what Doug was doing. And you set him up for the mockery. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, that's not a good friend for, like, Dan to do that to Doug. And just let Doug do that and just, like, blindly defend him. Dan knew what he was doing. Okay. I mean, you could easily mm. tell. Doug didn't really understand what was going on. Dan knew the whole scope. He was already and talking about the slug situation. He already knew that I was already live on Turd Island. Doug didn't let, know any of that. Let's talk about the disagreement that Byrne and I had. Like, I even said that Dan was, like, worse than Ember, Ember Lily. And, like, Byrne, like, kind of fucking owned me last night when he was, like, he explained to me that Ember is way worse. Like Ember was using yeah. information against. Yes, people. she was. Um, I, 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 was, I was I was outright with that. I was outright with that. Like I don't agree with that take whatsoever. I don't think I don't, like if Dan was doxing us or soft doxing us like Ember was, I would agree with you. Yeah. But no, there's the, also when it comes to Ember running, she ran from Slug at any moment. I mean, like the Yokai clip, she was in the same fucking VC as Slug. There was yeah. no confrontation with Slug there. No. <laughs> so no, I don't. I don't think Dan is as bad as like Ember. But now, like, people thought. Okay, I have to ask this. Did, were you joking about that? Because now that's a big contention on um, Twitter. Were you joking about that? So other people may have been joking, but I legitimately thought uh, Dan was like for for a second in until I had or, talked to you. Still? No, I don't think that anymore. Oh, okay, but okay. in the until I had talked to Burn, I did legitimately think. Dan was worse than um, Ember. But then, like, mm. as soon as, like, I took the L with Burn and Burn, like, corrected me, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know what? Ember is worse. So, we so although other plans. people may have been joking, I did, I will admit, <laughs> I did take it seriously. We have big plans, Leia. Seriously. Are you ready for this? We what? have huge plans. First off, before we get into it, you know, I'll do that after. Kathonic is thinking of bringing back um, the pre-show for Turd Island. Yeah. Where he's going to take on half of like the Spurgs or whatnot. 
that are on one side of the argument and just talk to them and we'll get their feed and everything like that just so that when we start Turd Island, I can start it off with the other half of the Spurs, the other people that have beef so they can get their points across and then it'll allow them to jump in and start fighting right away. I mean, I think that's a good idea because, like, right now we're running into an increase of people just, like, running and not wanting to talk to one another and just continuing to fight with each other. And it's just, like, it's a weird thing. It's like, why don't you guys just confront each other if you if you actually have problems? Yeah, exactly. The post-show, post, the- post, show, post show, uh, the after shows with Joe... Yep. Are, are insane. Are we are going to have to create a new landing page on Kick just in case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, especially Joe, after what, last night, motherfucker. <laughs> whatever you okay. set that up, we're going to have to we'll put put it on all our channels or whatnot. I don't know if you guys want to do it on your yeah. channels. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. But uh yeah. 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 All the bots will get put on the model channel. But uh and I, I guess Joe and Burn. I guess this... Joe and Burn. What? You guys are bringing back out of orbit? Yes, no. Right. We're, no, we're... no, you guys are fucking <laughs> lying, dude. Shut up. By this point, by this point, it'll already probably be public uh, when this gets released because oh we'll already have had the conversation. But no, <laughs> me, me and Burn are just burnt out from that. I yeah, I, guys... I think it's, it's, it's. Oh, tell Leia your catch that you tried telling us. Oh, yeah. hood and all so that. we came in after talking about how we're we want to end out of orbit and everything. And we came in and I said, we're, we're going to create a second out of orbit show in parallel with the first. It's going to have small pee pee, Leah, pigeon salad, red hood, ghosty. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to call yeah. it out of this universe. Oh yeah, that would definitely get a contract be with universe. Matt Pitt going. You should, you should call the show out of your mind. Out of yeah. your fucking mind. <laughs> For real. And then they asked, they asked, well, Joe, or, or like, what are you and Burn going to do on the show? We're like, nah, we're going to be producers. We're not going to be all that fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guess with us. I'm not getting, yeah, I'm not getting involved with that. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> so Ghosty yesterday did appear on my channel, like during one of my live streams and bought a membership. And I was just like, Ghosty, bye. Like, I don't want you here. What are you doing here? He's so, so funny. He asked me about X Defiant, so I gave him like a rundown of what I thought X Defiant was. Leah, are you getting X Defiant? No. Get X what Defiant. What is it? Play with the boys. It's free. It's a shooter. Don't worry. You don't have to be good because none of us are good, but we're pretty good. X we're exceptionally Defiant. great. <laughs> we're, exceptionally. we're actually exceptional at the game. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. We're not good. That sounds like Cope. We're making an AW team, an AWT team, Leah. A- all. At least we team. At least we. At least we team. Yeah, at least we team. At least we team. Yeah. Oh, should we talk about that? How we're like getting made fun of because we don't have the. L oh, all right. I can explain this. I can explain. All right, you motherfuckers. AWT. <laughs> at least we try. You hold the L because we hold no L's in this bitch. That's why there's no L in the name. Whoa, we don't hold that shit, bro. <laughs> we don't you hold that baby. shit. You can have that L. Have it. Yeah, W. We hold no L's. No L's in the name. Only yeah. W's. That's where the W's in the middle. Exactly. Yep, yep. yep. AWT. I thought it was always going, yeah. winning together. Yeah. We're rebranding. Always <laughs> winning together. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, not to bring it back to Dan, but Dan has left the pumpkin patch, which I'm revamping. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's tell him what really happened here, all right? Dan left the pumpkin patch because of me and Joe. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at first, I'm not even at a member first of the had pumpkin a... patch. I'm not even a member of that show. Yes, he is. Well, not, yes, well, you are. Now yeah, you are. basically you are. Well, now, yeah, I basically you are. Spot. now I am. But the thing is, like, me and Dan had a private call before that. I said, because well, well, he told me initially, I don't, I'm going to think about it. Mm, never mind, I'm not going to do it. And I go and say, well, are you uncomfortable with Dan and Joe? Are you are you uncomfortable with Cathonic and Joe? At first he said no. I just got to think about it. And then the Twitter explosion happened. And he really, like, really told me, nah, fuck them. They're all pussies. They, they, they think I'm a pussy. I don't care anymore. They can go fuck themselves. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be on a podcast with snakes. <laughs> we didn't even snakes. Have Y'all are fucking snakes. Yeah. Cool. But, uh, yeah, um... 
it was just insanity. And then, like, we, he brought it up on Twitter. And, like, the Twitter meltdown, uh, flatly, and, like, if you want to, like, take screenshots and, like, as we're talking, like, put them on, t- on the channel as this is going on. Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of editing, bro. I barely... I hope I remember to cut out the N word I said at the beginning of this. Hopefully. Yeah, I hope that too. But uh, yeah, um, yeah. Dan left the puppy patch. Uh, he's leaving everything. Apparently, his Twitter's on an archive Twitter because he oh, put Dan two forty three archive. It's time to burn the world ten after the events of 05, 20, 26, 2024, This this Twitter is now defunct. He's talking uh, like the events of last wait, night were like leaving? his personal 9-11. Yeah, is he leaving commentary? Like, or what? Uh, yes. Like he's a over, tragedy here? over a huggy. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Guys. I don't crazy. know. My man thought he was yeah, going to get I mean, a win uh, on a huggy <laughs> and ended up getting, <laughs> getting himself fucking roasted to the point <laughs> where he had to run and leave. I, I think I remember Dan doing this in the past before with like some other drama that he was involved in like a long ass time ago. Yes. And Dan like left. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I just don't remember. Flatly read it at the beginning. Yeah. That's the first copy post of Dan that went like, viral. Right. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I'm this not, is I all kind of gay. I love so, it, bro. But Oh, oh, Victor Burns, if you are out there somewhere. I have an application for you to fill out. All right. Uh, AWT Ooh. is looking for a lol cow. Oh yeah. We need one. <laughs> we need our local lol cow. We need we need we him to not only cow. interact with AWT, but to also go to the pumpkin patch and be the the contrarian lol cow. Yeah. And we then you know what I want? I want to get Rev and Victor Burns into a, a debate. Oh, oh my god. god. Uh, Good luck with that. You say that now, but if you saw that shit hit the timeline tomorrow, you bet your ass you'd be watching it. <laughs> I, mean, I yeah. probably would just to see how like uh uh Rev trolls Victor Burns. Cause I think Rev would like really would make Victor really mad. But then again, they I I think like when Victor and Rev were both friends with Slug at the same time. They were kind of getting along, so I'm not sure if Victor will get super pissed off. But it would be an interesting blood sports. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what what else happened last night? That's like that news. Oh, Sliggins went off on like everything. Oh, Sliggins rockstar mode, oh, yeah. bro. He he, he uh, the only the difficulty and yeah. crushed it. And the only the only con- like contention I have with him, other than the, like we we already explained the King of Star stuff behind the scenes, and I understand. Uh, the second contention I have with him was the Ember stuff, where like Ember's like hate watching. Is like, do you have proof for that? Do you have proof that she's hate watching? Oh oh, she got a gifted membership. It's like, bro, I watched some like Pokemon YouTuber last month. I just got a membership today. Of who I don't watch. I, I don't like hate. There's no proof of hate watching. Ember's gone. <laughs> Yeah, because like I, I've gotten a membership from now recording, and we all know I don't fucking watch now recording. But, <laughs> but bro, let, let's be real here. You, 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 you genuinely don't believe that. Uh, I don't. Th- I don't. I don't know. Ember's, no, Ember's nowhere. It's possible, no, but there's it's, no proof. It's, it's almost like ninety percent like po- like possible. It, it's that. possible, but there's no proof. That's the point. There's no yeah, proof. Yeah, that's the point you, that I'm, I don't think. I don't think the point that I made. Have, I don't think you need proof when you have repeated behavior. Um. Yeah. I. I don't disagree with Cathonic because she like every time she does get into like these oh i have to private my twitter i have to go away because all of commentary hates me because i'm just a insufferable bitch that everybody hates uh she'll sit behind the scenes like uh when she made the violent violets account i had no idea that was her and she it was following me and interacting with me so she's probably on another account somewhere I mean, I think she is, but I'm just saying I don't have proof, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I mean, sure. it's good to outline that too. We don't, we don't have definitive proof that this is actually happening. Happening. So, and gifting uh, members is not. And Joe. 
And uh, yeah, and gifted members doesn't prove anything because you can get if you watch one stream once, you have a chance of getting fucking memberships down the line. That is like true. I already said, I don't, I don't want fucking all recording. I would, I don't watch that shit. I got a yeah. membership yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna be I real. Mean, I were... didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah there were times where I, uh, I have been gifted memberships from like slug, slug streams, and I rarely watch slug. So. I watch him like every once in a while. But, but I'm with Sliggins on Chemo Star. I don't hate the guy, I just think he's annoying. Poor Stop um, spamming my DMs. Stop spamming I, my DMs. I don't hate Chemo Star. Uh he's he seems pretty cool. Sometimes he has his moments, but then we all we all have our moments. Like sometimes I'm annoying too. So Dude, but, yeah. I didn't think we'd get this far with AWT. I wanna be real. Dude, name. We're we're broin. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna revamp. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to revamp some stuff. That will be at coming. least we tried. We already yeah, tried. We no more like I'm so sick and tired of people just like freaking leaving. No we're, more leaving, okay? We we are now always win together. <laughs> oh no, I know. <laughs> always, yeah, always win together. Win together. Always that sounds like a romantic it. novel. Sounds, okay, I'm gonna be real. This sounds so gay. I, I, I all do right, not it's this. just a work in progress. But at least, <laughs> at least we tried with it. All right. I do, oh, I'm so good. I do want to give like a special shout out to um Aunt and Aunt. and um uh and Lamp because they're like they're like in the middle of things. Like um they are cool with Doug and and um dan 240p and they were just like caught in the middle so shout out to them sorry that this had to happen but i like dan uh, your friends are burning but i don't like that doug got doug got the shit under the stick because dan hid behind him yeah and i don't like it either like it's just like dan you're you're kind of shitty like you play dirty i don't like you <laughs> but that's it Dan, you want to join yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, no. Hey, Dan can join. So now that Echo's gone. No, I'd fire him. Immediately. You'd oh, fire you him would? immediately? I, I'd literally fire him immediately. What is that? What's wrong? Do we do we plan on replacing Echo? Like, or do we, no, do we no. like what's uh, going on here? No. Uh, I, I, I can't. I you can't, I can't re who are we going to replace Echo with? Who's going to be true, like Echo? Yeah, you know what I mean? I, it, Damn, that, we're, that we're replacing is, with Dan, bro. It's equal. Up. Not only you that, need like four people with his fucking his ass. <laughs> he's trying to speak. Let him speak. Dude. Holy shit, guys! You guys are. Okay. I just want to apologize <laughs> for interrupting you earlier. <laughs> but, but, but it's, it's really, really shitty to interrupt people, and I really feel like that's <laughs> oh like. Oh my god. A okay. Uh, so... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You but... muted me on Discord, not the recording. You stupid <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay um no i i think we're fine with like the members we have i do feel like we have a lot of members uh, uh, as it was at the time yeah. too so i mean if, if people end up leaving anyways like i, I don't know the smaller is always kind of better in in my eyes um <laughs> especially with all the dramas we've had with people leaving anyways it's like maybe like well, we had two people leave already now right Maybe three. Um. Yeah. yeah. Two people left. Yeah, I think that's. Who are the two that left? Kind of funny. Lamp. Lamp and Echo. Oh, that's and right. Echo. That's right, dude. I, oh my god, I forgot Lamp was a part of AW. I was just about to suggest maybe we get Lamp in. You know, some people are saying it looks like our group is falling apart. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. We uh, still have a full. What are you talking about? It's fucking... Just one group against another. <laughs> no, I that's, not, that's not what I'm talking about. So. I don't think the group is falling apart. I think it's just like we're I don't know. I I think some people just do shitty things. The fakers like are out. Yeah, like we're all cool with one another, right? And we I just want it to be like no drama and I think Lamp wasn't really drama, but I uh Echo was and I just feel like it's like just the drama people that left. But I mean, and, I feel I feel like there's gonna be like bickerments between us 
all i mean it depends I mean, on like, always. the situations you know what i mean oh, like, yeah. there's gonna be drama but i just still feel like the drama like i don't know i'm not gonna leave over fucking just beefing over well, <laughs> look at you like joe and time when you guys yeah. had that argument on video games right that shit got, <laughs> yeah. got, that shit got, got passionate heated. and heated bro but then you guys are like yeah yeah like video games <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, uh, was, there was a time where um burn and i had an issue and um i had gotten mad at burn and i had thought about leaving but then i was like you know what no these guys are cool so i stuck it out and like look where burn and i are at now like we don't have issues with one another married with four kids yeah. Yeah. Love story. burn even corrects me and i i like that burn is able to like correct me on things i like being able to receive criticism on stuff like if i have an l take i have an l take and you guys should tell me yeah um i just think like there are certain individuals out there like the low gals mm-hmm. and i were talking about this yesterday where um there are times where we're not going to be able to agree on things or uh and we have to like tell each other hey you're a loser for thinking this way or um there are lots of times where like people will sit there and say oh because you said one nice thing about me that means you can never criticize me and it's like that's that kind of stuff or doing that kind of behavior is just it's not good it's fake it's not how i vision like our show going uh down that road so it's just like i would rather have you guys be able to tell me when i fuck up or when i have an outtake and stuff i'm so. glad you say that leah because i was literally gonna my plan was to confront you on the uh ember lily versus dan thing because i don't think dan's anywhere close to ember lily but you ended up retracting yeah. it so i was like fuck fuck yeah anyways other thing you think you could reach out to the Law Gals cast members, but more specifically Jessica Pizzle, see if she wants to be a guest <laughs> member on AWT? Yeah. Well, what? No. What if we have an AWT Law Gal fucking mashup, bro? No, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll ask super the show. Girls. Yeah. I'll, I'll message. The we'll make team. it like a live stream event, and we could all play like Jackbox party games and, and Discord games and stuff like that too. Um, yeah. Liana's no trying to. Liana's trying to do like a, a Minecraft. She's been playing Minecraft lately. Ooh, do you want to have Paul Kyle's AWT SMP? We'll make it like yeah, a, a cool. long, a big stream, like a big event. We'll have like a fucking eight, nine hour stream or whatever. Yeah. 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 That'd be so cool. That'd be actually awesome. Hell, oh, dude, chat. Guys, viewers of AWT, what are we going to call them? The Champions Club? What are, what are they? What do we call oh, I don't know. people that watch us? The people that watch us. Hello, my fellow Black American. I don't know. Hello, For my like, fellow basketball Americans. <laughs> um, well, because I for like memberships, right? Is that why you're wondering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what are we? Yeah, call the that? tryhards, dude. Our oh, try dude, hard. yeah, tryhards. Yeah, That's a at, good least, name. Oh, yeah, at least, at least we try. try. Oh, but they're the try. Oh yes, my god, that's, that's good. It. That's oh, good, dude. Shit, bro. W. Talking with fire. I'm gonna be real. I, I thought this was gonna last like eight episodes. Mm. Uh, but, but it seems <laughs> now everybody's asking for more. And I'm like, fuck, bro. Now we're we fucking like, doing 200 we're, episodes. We're, we're gonna have insane. a 200 episode anniversary. All right, it's gonna be awesome. Winners. We're gonna do the meetup. We're eventually gonna do the meetup. Yeah, episode, we do the live one. Episode 1000? Yeah, episode 100. Nah, dude, it'll probably be sooner than that. Oh, it'll be sooner. I'll save up money. If we make a plan and it's well in advance, I'll have money saved up. We'll be fucking partying. We'll be going. <laughs> yeah. Get I'm going to get there. super drunk again and goon on the live show. No, I'm just oh, kidding. Oh, God. W. <laughs> w. Gooning. Um, w. Gooning. W. Gooning. I do feel like we we have a lot planned and I feel like it's going to be fun to do, so... Oh yeah. yeah, I mean we we had a fun idea for this week, this Friday. Oh, we had yeah. a really fun idea. I don't, I don't think I want to. Uh, yeah, give that out. Yeah. Do Wait, we, do, do I, I do I know it? what's do up we... Friday? Do, yes, it's the thing we talked about earlier. 
Oh my God, guys, we are a shit show because I have no idea what's going on Friday. I'm wait, I'm what leaving is the show. On? Wait, what I'm is just not Friday, Sunday. I don't know why I said Friday. Sunday, yeah, Sunday, like, Sunday, wait, Sunday, wait, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Sunday. oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, Sunday. yeah. Wait, should we tease it? Should we tease it? Tease it. We should drop it, drop tease it, but don't say. All right, all right. I mean, all right. If you saw Last Turn Island, then I guess it's gonna be. A little similar, but not like that. <laughs> I guess. I, I guess like last night's Third Island kind of inspired all of us to come up with something, uh, something cool for uh, for some some from, for some Third Island shows. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I want to yes. drop a clue. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Or or beach yep. episode. Beach episode of Third Island. Savia. And Leia's gonna get a face cam. No. You can wear a tiki <laughs> mask. It's okay. Okay, I'll wear a tiki <laughs> mask. <laughs> That'd be sick. Get a get a face cam, but get a tiki mask. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Uh, and burn, burn Bernstein. Bro. Bernstein. Bernstein. Bernstein bro. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Don't ever call me Bernstein ever again. Hey, shut your bitch ass up, bro. I made you. I made oh, you. you did? Here we go. We're gonna find you. I made you, buddy. I got, I gave you this show. I showed <laughs> you the ropes. I told you. No, Skelly showed me the ropes. I came here because Skelly, Skelly. Skelly also. <laughs> Skelly had also informed me on a lot of people as well that is facts. That is factual. And then he said Abby Blackbird, and I realized uh -huh. Abby Blackbird was uh, not who Skelly said she was. I listened. I heard, uh, speaking okay, of I, Abby, I gotta, yeah. What happened last night when you no, guys showed this? No, 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 no. Hold on, guys. If you like Turd Island and you like the pre-show for Turd Island, and you want the unfiltered, uncensored version of Turd Island, <laughs> for some reason, Joe and his ultimate wizard decided to host a post and after show, a post show yeah. we're all on Twitch of all places, place. where yeah, we were, we're all, all drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start it off by saying we started off by really chill commentary. We we're just talking about things. Oh, this future's bright, you know, playing some video games. Then it turned into top 10 women in commentary, top 10 boys in commentary. Then it turned into Joe I showed his ass. <laughs> I didn't just show my ass. It was the outline of it. It was on accident. <laughs> and then it turned it was into lay his ass in the side <laughs> <laughs> that, the worst part about that was you sent a picture he's like what do you think of this i'm like that's a nice ass and then leah goes thank you i'm like oh god damn it yeah. Fuck. he was, was blushing bro he was blushing to i was the like mic. that's so fucking awkward jesus christ <laughs> and then, i seriously <laughs> like it when you say god damn it you're like god damn it and then it was uh i was messing with the camera thing on my phone, like, yo, my thumb looks really big. Obviously, you know, it was just a reference for what you could do with <laughs> yes, the camera, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Joe's like, let me pull it up on stream. So he pulls it up on stream, and I just said, oh, fuck it, nutsack. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's how you know that me and Flatley are really good friends, because this motherfucker's trying to get my Twitch channel <laughs> taken down on the fucking regular, yeah, and yeah. I still bring him on. Dude, yeah. I don't know how it's still kick. afloat, bro. You just need to get a kick at this point. No, it turned from, hey, we need to talk to Flatly about that. To now, guys, you, you know what, Joe? You should just bite the fucking bullet. Fuck <laughs> off. Dude, no, I just said to start saying slurs on his stream if he was going to say did, slurs I did. I did. It backfired on Joe because I was like, dude, that's based. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't backfire because then Dan wanted to talk about people using slurs and shit because dude. I said a slur. Oh, yeah. He he, that's when he started morally grandstanding over it. Oh, I was like, yeah. bro, Big you said whoop. It's the N word. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the yep. N word. Yeah. yeah. So by me saying the N word, it got Dan even more mad and made him look even dumber. Dan is the last person to talk about slurs. I will say that. Exactly. For show, dude. Yeah. Yep. 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 I personally don't agree with slurs, but I use well, them. Yeah. You know I, I mean? personally don't. Agree. I don't say them. Oh, I didn't even. Shit. <laughs> I didn't shit. even like. <laughs> I don't say them. I don't what, what is that word? What is no, I don't say them. What is that word that's not a slur that you were vehemently telling gonna, me what? I'm not going to say it. Oh, oh, why not? You said it before. It's a slur. What, what happened? It's not a slur. What happened? <laughs> is it retard? No, it's. Uh, no, it's something else. It starts uh, with an N and ends with a let. Oh. Uh, Definition, and it's like a slur for a little black child. 
<laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I just said I'm tired. And she called me one again. Leah's based. Yeah, well, we shouldn't slay them. Leah's based. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love yeah. you guys. Yeah, I love, I love hanging out with too. everybody here. This fucking dude, last night was fun. That was a great night. Last night was a no, last night was fun. We had a lot of contentions, lots of blood sports, lots of spur gout. And then shirts. Burn, are you gonna so be a spur if we all meet up IRL? Wait, what? Are you gonna be a spur if we all meet up IRL? No. Can we, we be paranoid? Can we? Can we, can we go I'm to your house? Can we, uh, can, can we, we host it at your house? house? Well, then you'll know. No, no, no. no. We'll host what? it at Leia's house. <laughs> I'm not going no, to fucking we, Texas. Have to go all the way. What the fuck? We're going to New York. Oh, New York's cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, That's we so should cool. go to like Times Square and not build a IRL. The low gals and I want to go to VidCon. We're, you know, we're talking about. about I am banned from New York City. We are talking about last episode that we're going to get coked out and, um, <laughs> like, Nick Ricada and go to VidCon. You guys let's are going it. to VidCon? I'm going to VidCon let's then. All, let's all go to VidCon, dude. When's VidCon? Yeah, let's go to VidCon. When is it? When is it? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I thought VidCon was in yep. California. Plans are made now. I have no this, idea. Not this year's VidCon next year. So how about next year? 2025? Yeah. 2025 cool. VidCon. Yeah. Will we, we're going to meet all the will, Minecraft YouTubers we and we're going to get our chest felt. 2025? Yeah. Wait, what? I said, will, I we, will we be still be friends in 2025? Burn, we'll 2025 see. is literally in like six months from now, dude. We'll see, dude. I mean, a lot did, can happen in six months. I mean, Lamp did can like did uh, predict the future. The autism and small commentary is ramping up dramatically in pre uh, preparation for another spurky summer. It's what a time to be alive. He did quote. He did say that, and he it's did happening. Say that. And it's, yeah. it's happening. Yeah, well, even Lamp when he's not thinks, here, he also thinks ketchup belongs on steak. So it does. Oh, never mind. Just oh, what the fuck are you platform. on about putting ketchup All on right. your steak? This is what Lamp was talking about. Actually, fuck. Dude, the okay, downfall. fuck you guys. All right, mayonnaise on hot dogs is fine. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> it is. It's it's just, on hot dogs. Is you're both fucking, disgusting. That's such a beaner response. Can we just dead <laughs> Gathonic from his own podcast? All right, all right. I have a confession. I have a confession. I have a confession. I have a confession. Food takes. What? I tried the mayonnaise on the hot dog. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was disgusting. It, no, it was pretty good. It was no, pretty my God, good. you're fired, bro. Every was, single one of you dude, are just degenerate lolly I don't, lovers. I don't think it belongs together. I still don't think it belongs together because my brain was like, what the fuck are you doing, Flatley, right? But my tongue was like, oh, shit, what are you doing to me? Ah, you know what I'm saying? Dude, dude just imagine <laughs> this. Dude, imagine this. Mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard with pico de gallo on your hot dog. What's so Pico de Gallo? Oh, no. Perhaps. Why would you put mayonnaise in anything? That's disgusting. You want to know what bro. I had that is so good with hot dogs? What? Macaroni and cheese. Okay, yes. Hot dogs yes. and mac and cheese. Yes. That's based. That's based. Like and dino nuggets. Cutting, cutting up the... Cutting up the hot dog and putting it in the mac and cheese. I was just about yeah, to bring that yeah, up, yeah, actually. I was just about to say, Leia. Sometimes I do I, that and I like to pretend that I'm not an adult anymore. And I feel like the worries of the world slip away as I'm eight years old and I get to play my favorite Call of Duty game. And then I realize the mac and cheese and hot dogs are all gone. And the crushing reality and depression hits me all at once. And I go on a drinking bend. W. <laughs> dude, you know what's fire? Fucking, like oh, night. dude, macaroni and depression. tuna, bro. Ma that too. Uh, macaroni <laughs> and tuna. Ooh, I'll have to try yeah, that. Yeah, it's just That's called the tuna salad, stupid. stupid. You're no, it's not. Are you actually retarded? You don't put macaroni in your tuna salad? No. You know what is really good? Fucking Wait, when you make taco salad? salad out of Doritos. Yep, oh, yeah, in the bag, taco oh, yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah in the bag. Good. Yes. What is this episode Delicious. become? Um, man, uh, fuck damn, fuck dog, uh, all that bitches. <laughs> 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 Dude, yeah, we are like having really severe ADD right now. No, it's okay. That's what makes the podcast. Dude, that's why podcast. Jessica Pizzle would be perfect for our show. Dude, you're so ADHD. Should we... And then, okay. then, 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 what were we talking about? You're so uh... random. The real um, Dan. That's so random. I actually wanted to talk about the Abby thing real quick because oh, it was pretty cool. Wait, wait, wait. Before, the, I, before we the, talk about the, Abby. Can we talk about your stream? It went all the way to like 6 a.m. in the morning, right? <laughs> That's what I was going to get at. At 5.15 in the morning, 
the randomest three people in commentary came out of the show. It was Lamp, Brick, and Abby, and Abby. Blackbird. What the fuck? Are you for real? <laughs> yes. yes. We're like, where the fuck did these people come? <laughs> this is I appreciate you guys them coming on Joe's show, but holy fuck. Yeah, I had to go to sleep, dude. At that point. Yeah, uh, you're good. That was my best stream I've done yet. Like, the yeah. view count was amazing. Yeah. yeah. I know you guys went at and Skelly for the that... Abby, or some for some reason. Yeah, okay. and I have to say that's all that's all flatly because when I made the joke about doing a Turd Island post show, he said, "Bro, do it." Do it. And he gave me the go ahead. Hell and yeah. now I was like, I was like, "Oh, well, can I do these like regularly?" He said, "Absolutely." And then it was Cathonic wanted to bring back the pre-show. I was like, "Oh, we're going to have a pre-show oh, pre Turd Island and a post show." The pre-show is the the pre -show is the pit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. got we got a pre-show, the pit, we got Turd Island, and we have the post show, which I'm always going to call E Island because Twitch won't let Dude, me put turd. We're fucking Bro. expanding our horizons. This is and we're like out. literally just Augie RSD at this point. Now we got the after hours, and we got the before hours. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one of the things I did here is uh, on Low Gals, it was brought up that you were on a stream, um, my stream, and Abby yeah. was there. And that's something I've also heard was a point of criticism towards yep. me as having people on and stuff. I, I want to know, like, because this is what Dan, it loops back to what Dan, Dan was going at us for slug. How long are people going to keep saying guilt by association, guilt by association without even knowing the full context of things? Like, Abby calls into my streams and she hangs out for a little bit, but she's not like a mainstay or anything. And she's been on two streams, the same as slug. So I don't know. It's just like all of a sudden, like, Dan just has, because Dan knew about, like, the slug doxing stuff for quite some time, right? And he's never been this vocal about slug. So when I all of a sudden hear, see him being like, oh, my God, slug's a doxer. You're picking a doxer over me. It's like, bro, you knew slug was a doxer, like, the past few years because you've been in commentary just as long as I have. And now all of a sudden you have an issue with Slug? Like, what is this? And the whole Abby thing. Like, I don't have issues with Abby calling in, right? Mm -hmm. For the sake of your show. Because I... And this is what I said on Low Gals. Is like, every time Ember had an issue with someone, it was always the, like, gist of the call. Even private calls. If someone was in the call that she didn't like, she would like call them out and then it would, they would get into fights. It was never like a chill time. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 for the sake of your show, because I'm going to respect you, um, Joe, I'm not going to go and just like pick a fight with Abby because, um, Abby called in. It's like Abby is. Abby is more than welcome to hang out in commentary spaces. It's the same thing as like DMAX and Peepaw. They're more than welcome to hang out in, into commentary spaces. It's for the sake of the show, you should just put your own personal issues aside. I don't like Abby. Abby doesn't like me, but it's on Joe's show. We're not going to do that kind of stuff. So, exactly. And, and Miles I don't. Oh, go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, you go ahead. You were you were finishing your thoughts. And I don't think like your Twitch live stream because like you have people that are non-commentary people in your audience. I don't think your audience is gonna want to see me and Abby fight over stuff that they don't even know about, right? So it's right. just like it's I don't I don't get it. I I um you know, Leon, it's great that Liana came and talked to me and was like, uh, somebody sent me this screenshot and said that you were betraying me. And we like both laughed it off because like, that's what you're doing is like, not gonna, it's not going to prevent me and Liana from being friends, or it's not going to break up the low gals. What you're doing is just making yourself look like an ass just by sending that screenshot to Liana. Like, I'm not mad at the person for sending the screenshot, but I do think that person is a shit stirrer. Like the, and it's just like, why? 
what does it matter if like Abby and I are in the same VC to you? Am, am I, are we, are you bleeding? Like, are, are you, have you been assaulted? Did we rape you or something? Like, is this why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Rape W? Rape W? Yeah. Rape W? Yeah. That was great. I like that. This great. is like, did, why, why are you so offended by like just a <laughs> VC in a Discord yeah, on somebody's any... live stream? Yeah. yeah. Like what I was telling Dan, it, it it really isn't that deep, like at all. Like, if me having a conversation with somebody I don't like means I like them is the dumbest shit, right? Like, I think being able to have a conversation with somebody who has a different opinion or somebody you don't like is good and healthy, right? I think it is a healthy thing for you because it's like you get to see. I I, I always say this. I guess I, I kind of I guess I'm kind of gay for saying this, but it, it gets you get to see a different perspective and. And I think that's always valuable. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, Joe, what were you going to say about, like, the whole thing where somebody took a screenshot of us in a VC and sent it to Liana? What do you think well, about that? Well, first of all, nobody should take my chill streams as any sort of sign of friendship on my end or anyone else's end because people are talking. The whole point of those chill streams are people are allowed to call in and come talk about whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I've been saying it, and I'll say it again. It is the yang to Turd Island's yin. It's supposed to be the thing where we all just generally chill. Like, drama, we could talk about it, yes. If blood sports happens, it happens, but it's not something I go out of my way to advocate for. I actually like to advocate for the opposite. Yeah. Slug, uh, happy... Anybody else, Dan could come on one of my chill streams. It's not a sign of friendship. Everybody yeah. knows the core friend group. Like, I've made very clear the people I like to have associated with that I associate with on a regular, you know, day-to-day -day basis. It mm -hmm. is not people I have on. Like, Brick, I like Brick. Me and Brick aren't friends. He comes on my stuff. We talk about fish tank and have good conversations, but Brick's not my friend. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I agree. And someone trying to use my streams without, for honestly, probably didn't understand the full context because that's what the context has always been. Uh, yeah. Trying to rift between you and Liana and say that you betrayed her because you were on my stream and I pulled Abby in. One, that makes you look really bad because they're saying you betrayed. That makes me look really bad because i allowed this to happen on my platform and mm -hmm. was just like yep absolutely uh no stop with the guilt by association people just because okay. i'm on a stream with slug or on a stream with abby or leah is or burn okay i gotta say this didn't leah on twitter and say that you shouldn't like complain of Ron like shouldn't uh, it was so artistic it doesn't even make any sense of why doug oh, oh fuck well now we know who did it it's um, it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, said it last night that it was Doug, so it's whatever. Yeah, but like, didn't you say like we should be able to be in VCs with people we didn't, we, we don't like, Leia? Yeah, like. So uh, why the fuck does it matter to anyone else? I, I have no idea. <laughs> like, I I just think I I straight up think it was just Doug trying to stir the pot, and it this it goes back to like, oh, well, I don't like this person, so you shouldn't hang out with this person because I think they're a doxer. And it's like, well, you don't get to tell us what to do. Like, well, we're not, you don't pay my bills. Like, mm. I don't know, does Dan, is Dan any of our sugar daddies? He's no, a not yet. sugar daddy? So, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't get to tell me what to do until like you're paying my bills, then, then that's when you get to tell me what to do. But until then, Sit down and shut the fuck up. And Doug doing the shit that he's done, it it further because I've in the past called Doug a shit stirrer because there was there were things where t there are times where Doug goes behind the scenes and says things to other people, and I've called him a shit stirrer on Turd Island specifically, and it's just like Doug, you're not beating the shit stirring allegations. Like if you don't want drama then don't go around causing drama or don't go around taking snippets of a, a voice chat in a discord and going to like a person 
and being like, well, your co-host is betraying you right now. And it's just like, what the fuck? Bro, you're going on a stream with someone I don't like. You're betraying them. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, oh my, yeah. What am I doing, Doug? Am I talking shit about Liana? That's what I and that's what I said to Liana on the low gals. I was like, I yeah, Abby. Abby was on that stream. I'm not gonna pick a fight with Abby because it's for the sake of the live stream. I I'm gonna respect Joe's stream like that. It's not. I'm not going to be an Emperor <laughs> Lily and pick fights with people because I have an issue with you and just put a halt there's, to like your so, live stream. There's so, so many parallels to this because it's like Dan and Doug want us to go at fucking like slug. Now, <laughs> yeah. now it's like they want you to go at fucking Abby. It's like we should go at slug yeah. and you should go at Abby. Like How about fucking... you? Oh, go ahead, Burn, but you're going to make just a like, point. It, it, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. It's like, Bro, you guys don't want to be buddy. You're buddy buddy with Abby because you're not telling us she that she's a fat cow with no life. Uh, and we're not going at Slug telling him he's a retard with no fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck you want us to do then? It, it's for for two individuals that don't want to be part of the drama. They sure, they sure do want the drama really bad. Like, and, super they, bad. and they're inserting themselves. And Dan and Doug felt what happened. Yeah, and to where it's at the point where it's just like, okay, you know, um, I don't want drama, but you should go after these people because we have a problem with them. It's like, how about you grow a pair of balls and actually go after people? Like, uh, if you have a problem I, with them, how about you fight with them? Well, way yeah, I castrated people can't grow balls, okay? Ooh. Yeah. Doug, if you have a problem with Abby, how about you go voice your issues with Abby? You had a little hiccup there on Twitter. Why don't you join a call? Why did you have to add Skelly to the call? Uh, well, okay. I, I know there's contentious. I'm going to say that to Doug W because Abby was taking shit out of context to make that make Doug look bad. And then like he posted the full context of Abby just spurging out at Doug. Yeah. And that group chat, and then he added fucking Skelly, which made her spurg more in the DMs, where she was trying to paint Doug as some, like, like fucking bitch in the DMs, like, trying to make Doug look bad while everything was happening, you know, just coincidence while everything's going down with Doug and Dan. Abby yeah. throws the fucking, you know, throws her hat in the ring, taking shit out of context, and Doug just put it back in context. So in that instance, I'm going to say Doug W. Fucking Abby spurred out at dog for not allowing Dan to go on go at slug and then she spurred out because he added fucking Skelly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well then so, I see I'm gonna say W on that one. Okay. <laughs> Cause she took him out of context to make him look bad while everything was going on. And then he just put the top context right in front of him. Like, no, uh, this group chat you bitched at me and then when you know, I added uh, Skelly, you fucking you know did a bitch fit and called and went into my DMs to cry like a little cunt again. <laughs> So, yeah. fuck Abby, L. Abby. I think it's, um, and I, I see where you're coming from, like, L. Abby. I, from my perspective, I think it's L. Doug. Like, if you're, you can't go around starting drama or stirring the pot and expect people to, like, not push back on you. So, like, <laughs> if you're going to go and do these drama things... You better mm. be prepared because people are going to talk about you. Oh, I agree. So. It's just in this instance, Abby tried to get something on Doug, took him out of context, and then he just put the context back to what it was. Yeah. I did. So think I agree it... and disagree. I agree and disagree on that one. I did Where think Abby... it was. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Abby, Abby threw her hat in the ring and then, like, took him out of context. Like I already said, I'm kind of looping on this one. He put it back, on, put it back in context and made it look like the bitch that she is. Yeah. While everything was going on, coincidentally. <laughs> yeah. I do think it's weird that at, well, like, while we were going to, going through the issues with, like, um, Doug and Dan yeah, last night, cool. Abby just made that random meme. Like, it was funny. It, it's it funny. It was a funny meme. I, it's just weird that a Abby just randomly pipes in, too. So it's just like, okay. But, you know, Abby's going to do Abby like it's not for me to stop her I'm not her keeper so I mean that that scream she did the other day 
full on looks like a mental breakdown, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I, I mean, I talked to Burn about this. Like, there's stuff that she did take out of context, and and Pizzle did talk about it in our Low Gals episode where. Mm -hmm. Um, Abby failed to like show all of the instances where Jessica is reaching out to Abby and checking in with her and making sure she's okay. And Jessica did fight Matt Pitt over Abby and Jessica did go on Edwin's stream to defend Abby when everybody else hated Abby. So, um, I think just Jessica was justified in making videos about her. I'm. The only reason why I made videos about Abby is because I had an issue that she just all of a sudden magically had a problem with Xylee over the dead on Dave Blossom breakup. I was just like, no way are you going to fucking put this breakup on Xylee of all people where Xylee didn't do anything. It was all Blossom. So I don't like like I'll just make a note. I'm not a fan of Abby. I don't hate her, but I'm not a fan or anything. Um, I don't like how it's constantly, this community is so toxic. It's the same shit Tipster does. This community's toxic. I'm glad I'm left. And then where is she right now? Right back. Right back where it all started. And she's wanting to fight with people again. And then she's going to get called out or do something stupid or say something stupid and talk about how much she hates this community. And then she's going to come back. It's going to happen every single time. Yeah. You're not going to change my mind on that. I expect one later on this year. I'm calling it now. I expect it to happen later on this year again. She'll be back at the beginning of next year. Yeah. I'm calling it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, was there anything else that like we wanted to talk about? Like, no. I've been really. bringing it up a little bit. I don't know. I, the Skelly shit on Joe's shit last night. Yeah. Like, I heard that you guys were yelling at him or something about Can Abby. We weren't yelling at him. We we're getting on onto him because like the other day in the now recording VC, um uh Skelly there was like a tweet that Abby made and it was like uh a snippet of Skelly talking about Abby's dead brother, right? And Skelly had um I I don't know how Abby was brought up in the in the VC, maybe Skelly brought them up. I can't remember exactly what happened, but a, a bigger creators were like getting onto Skelly about um, not bringing in family into the mix, right? And Skelly, Skelly had made like the promise that he wasn't going to do that. And then yesterday he said the comment about the uncle. And I, that's when like we're just like, okay, Skelly, like here you are. You said you weren't going to do this again. You said it in the now recording VC, and now you're doing it again. But you shifted from brother to uncle. And then that's I when did, I said. I did get context behind that and behind the scenes. Uh, he was, he was I guess, too. like, he, he said that he usually makes these jokes about uncles and stuff. I don't, and he said the context was he was just saying that to piss her off. Yeah. So. And like then she made, I, then he according to me, I did watch chat. And she was like moral fagging about being R worded about her uncle. It's like no one knew this. What? Yeah, no now. one knew that. She oh she did do that. Oh my god! No way. She when brought that was up. this. I think I read this that out loud time. too. I think I read yeah, everything out loud. Time. Yeah, this was last night where she was like, "Oh, my uncle did raise me." It's like we didn't fucking know that. What? And thanks to like, like why the fuck? This is like little lore of you know the little burn lore about the rust rape ship where someone told me that they got raped by the like the cousin got raped. I made fun of that. Like so, this is what Abby just did. <laughs> this is so like she an, brought that. that up. That's like an overshare. Like I have an issue with that because it's just like although although Skelly said the insult and although I or and Sliggins. Well, I don't want to speak for Sliggins, but possibly Sliggins didn't agree with the insult and didn't like that Skelly used the insult. I'm also not going to like the fact that Abby used the fact that she was R-worded by her uncle against Skelly because how the fuck is Skelly supposed to even know that happened? This is the first yeah. time I'm hearing it. Yeah, so it's like same. you don't get to use that against Skelly. So I have an yeah, issue with that's that. Yeah, what he was telling me behind the scenes. Like, no one ever talked about her uncle, and she just brought that up to make it known against him because people are yelling at him. Yeah. <laughs> it's very well, possible. That's very and, possible. 
the equivalency of that argument that Abby is making is the same equivalency that like um Ember like Ember accused Slug of doxing or Rev of doxing because Rev um just called her like a pharmacist and she's just like oh my god rev you're doxing me because you said i'm a pharmacist and it's like okay oh that's god. a profession really? i'm a grocery manager oh god i guess i just dox myself i work yeah. in pest control and termite inspections uh-oh yeah oh, it's, yeah, it's i'm doxing just... myself i do a shitty job for a shitty corporation and i'm a manager of the grocery department oh god take it gut and flatly gotta take this down bro i'm sorry it's doxing his... me it's ah, histrionic shit. and i and i don't like that like abby used that against skelly i didn't realize abby was doing that in the chat me either so i yeah, remember it did. but i also don't because i had had a lot to drink by that point yeah, <laughs> that's why i said i think i read that out loud and it didn't even skelly, click in my I brain i remember that i got raped by my uncle it's like okay bro whatever <laughs> yeah like, but, it's like but nobody told... knew that and that's like an that's a way big overshare well i've told skelly the same thing with all the people in the now recording like coming together like i like skelly i think he's really funny but i don't think the dead brother jokes are funny i don't think that's funny because yeah. that's at the expense of abby having someone in her family die and that's not really a joke anymore that's kind of just like bullying like flat out like malicious bullying but other than that you know I mean, whatever but i agree I like, agree. abby i've been going I out and agree. saying i got r worded yeah by my uncle to try to use that as an own when people were just generally saying skelly you said you would stop talking about family you're doing it now which in context yes yeah, skelly does make a lot of jokes like he'll say my grandpa just jacked off or yeah. Yeah. he'll say like joe's dad is an r wordist which i take as a joke on my end he'll say stuff yeah. like that right yeah. But the whole point was specifically with Abby. Like going yeah. after her family is rough. I mean, I, I would feel bad, but Jessica Pizzle's situation where she brought up on that fucking like like, like manic episode of a live stream where she just brings up like Jessica Pizzle's Jessica Pizzle's suicide as a point against fucking like Jessica Pizzle. It's like yeah, I'm like no. I can't really feel bad at that point. <laughs> they're like, they're using no. someone like wanting to commit suicide against them, but like you got to stop at your brother. I'm like, okay. I mean, well, I'm not. And, I, I, don't, I don't feel I don't bad for her at all. Yeah, and I, she... I don't condone the jokes, but like I can't feel bad for you when you're using someone's like attempted suicide against them. But like we got to stop at your brother. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I don't and condone she even. She even lied about Pizzle because like. Pizzle was just like, yeah, I've never thought that way. Like, I, I'm too narcissistic to even do something like that or to even think something like that. So Abby, like, on top of it, lied. And we're, like, I'm not going super hard at Abby, but I I really care about Jessica Pizzle. And I mm. really care about Liana. And it's, like, and this is why I, I spurred at, at Slug <laughs> yesterday because when I see you say really nasty shit about mm. Jessica Pizzle, like really disgusting stuff to where it's like, I wouldn't even say something like that. I internalize it and I mm. will not forget what you said. And then when I saw Slug yesterday in chat defending Jessica Pizzle, I was just like, well, Slug, you shut up because you've also said horrible things about Jessica Pizzle. And then he yeah. was just like caught off guard. It's the same yeah. thing with with Abby and Maggot, like y'all have said disgusting things. I haven't forgotten that. And the second I get to have the opportunity to talk to you about it, I'm going to talk to you about it. But until then, yeah. just know that I know what you said and I'm taking yeah. it into consideration. So. Like I said, I'm not, I don't feel bad for Abby about the brother thing when she's going to openly just get, like, she's going to go down in the mud and get dirty, but, like, we can't go, like, but Skelly, but Skelly, it's a different thing. Like, no. She's going into the mud, she's flinging shit, and then Skelly flings shit, and we go, like, oh, fuck you, Skelly, we told you not to. It's like, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, but the, the okay. point of it isn't to defend Abby or anything like that, because I don't condone what Abby did to Pizzle any more than what Skelly was saying about Abby's brother. The whole point is the family members are not public figures, so don't bring them into the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't condone either, and I don't feel bad for Abby. I don't feel bad for her. I'm her problems are not my problems. It's that simple. It's not. Yeah. Um, but, I agree. Like her problems aren't my problems either. Like she's made fun of me, and I don't. I've made fun of her. So it's just mm. like it seems to me with like Abby, she can, she can dish it out, but she can't take the heat. And it's just like, I, I'm, this is my same criticism that I have for Doug. Like, if you're going to sit here and be in this space, especially as a creator, people are going to not like you. People are going to make videos about you. People are going to criticize you. And if you can't handle it, then maybe you shouldn't be here. Or you're just a locale. That's what I think. So... I always say so at the end of all my sentences. What is you, you, you also call almost everybody a locale. <laughs> what? I'm so weird. <laughs> like if, if Leah sees something that really rubs her the wrong way, they're a locale, which is funny to me because that means I'm surrounded in a community of locales. Yeah. I'm waiting. Joe, you're a locale. Out. Fuck off. <laughs> True. I mean, what did true. Joe do to purple again? No. <laughs> it's true. I had to take my licks on that one. I had to take my licks. What a well, W cow. Joe yeah. for doing that. Yeah, I took my licks on that. Now it's a funny joke. It's hilarious. But yeah. not as funny as the next episode of AWT where we're gonna watch gay porn and review it live for nope. your viewing uh, pleasure. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> true. That is true. Burn has already TV. sent you links. It's going to be BBC. Fuck you. Shut up. BBC. Yeah. Which Dude. stands for British Broadcasting Panel. Yeah. It's going to be is, British. Is Lightly even there? I am here, bro. I don't, I don't want to cut you guys off. <laughs> <laughs> he went off about Dan and immediately he's like, okay, I got it all out. That's all the energy I had left. I'm going to have to take a hibernation now. I mean, all right. I think that's all we have, though. Sliggins, take it away. Thank you for watching AWT, everybody. We are on top. We are the best. Nobody's better than us. You can't beat it. <laughs> oh, you you're don't... so funny, Sliggins. That's so hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tune in to the next AWT.